Oh yeah, it's incredible, Jake. And I gotta tell you, when you see this picture, do you think Jimi Hendrix? No, but he is a part of, this is one of the very cool parts of this exhibit is that it shows all the aspects of Jimmy's life. And joining me now is the guest curator at this exhibit at the museum. Jackie, thanks so much for being here. Absolutely. Why was it so important to share his military roots in this exhibit? Well, Jimmy was such a fascinating person. He mm -hmm. just had so many different interests and uh, his backstory just is, was not all, always about music. He didn't really get into music until he was about 15 years old. Uh, before that, he was interested in painting, being an artist. Um, his dad was in the military, so it kind of ran in his family. Uh, and it was really important to him to bring honor to the family name. So part of that was uh, signing up to um, join the army. That's amazing. Yeah. And so that also kind of correlated into kind of his style, right? So yeah. So he moves to England. Mm -hmm. um, when he gets starts becoming really famous at reporting and kind of adopts this iconic military yeah. jacket, right? Yeah. Um, a lot of different aspects from his past sort of show up uh, once he sort of hits the big time as a musician. Um, military again ran in his family. Uh, he was really interested in the military style, particularly in England. Uh, this is a British cavalry style jacket. Uh, so he really just loved the, the, the ornate details and the decor, just felt it was really cool, uh, fit his style. So yeah, he was very much known for wearing these kind of military style jackets. And he was the epitome of cool. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, and you, the one thing is really cool about this exhibit, we're not going to show you now, you're going to have to come down and check it out, was his stuff he got from his grandma who yes. was in vaudeville, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, his, his grandmother and his grandmother, uh, grandfather on his father's side, uh, were both in uh, show business in vaudeville in the early 1900s and uh, 1910s. Uh, his grandfather was a stagehand and his uh, grandmother was um, a singer, a dancer, and so she kept a lot of her uh, costumes and dresses and scarves and hats from her vaudeville days and uh, Jimmy really enjoyed, you know, playing around in that and was really inspired and by his grandmother. I'm so. sure, and that's why he, loved, he had a love for things like this. Yeah. All right, before we go real quick, Jim, I gotta show you this. So there's also some, you guys have collected like personal artifacts, personal items. This is so cool, this is a guitar case. Mm -hmm. And I love just the little details of this is what he would have had with him while he was traveling. Absolutely, right? yeah. He, this guitar case went with him most everywhere. You know, he didn't really have a lot of stuff, wasn't really a guy who was into material things mm -hmm. so much, but always had his guitar, uh, was always on, traveled all over Europe uh, performing uh, in the, you know, mid-60s, uh, mid to late 60s, so a lot of these items are things he kind of collected on the way. That's really, really great. Just like, you know, the socks from Delta. And can we talk about this? Can we talk about the size of this flask? <laughs> it's beautifully made yeah. as well. It's just, it's really, truly incredible. It's so great to see all these things. Thank you for opening your doors yes. to King this morning so that we could take a look at this. So the exhibit runs for how long? Through May of May 5th, 2019. So through May 5th, so 2019. Plenty of time to come and check it out. But why not come on Jimmy's birthday to the Northwest African American Museum? It'll be such a great show. There's going to be lots of special things happening tonight. So try to get out here. And chill out, man. Rock and roll. It's awesome. Back to you. <laughs>